Hi, and welcome to this episode of the Rugged Rundown. Today, what I'm gonna talk about is the five problems I've found with the fully rugged Panasonic Tough Book CF33. And you'll note that I have two of these units set in here. One of the differences between these two units is this one has the extended battery. This one has a few extra upgrades that I wanted to show you. Uh, but probably number five uh, for a problem that I, or a pet peeve or a problem, whatever you want to call it, is the extended battery and how heavy it is. The battery bumps out like this and it's a good pound heavier than your, your standard battery laptop. Uh, whenever it's that heavy and you open up the laptop, it easily tips back like that, which you have, that means you've got to have this handle always out in the back here. So if I take this handle and pull it out like this and set it down, whenever I put this laptop up, it still teeters, but it doesn't fall back. That is a problem. Again, with the extended battery version is the fact that you're unable to turn this laptop around so let me let me show you on this model so on a standard battery what you do is you simply turn this around and it pops right in lo and behold i have a tablet with the keyboard underneath that is a nice feature if you're out in the field and you're walking around but if you have the extended battery version what happens is you take this off and you try to turn it around. Well, first of all, you try to turn around, but look what happens. They've blocked the casing over here so that you can't pop it in. Because if you did and you, and you folded it down, you'd break the keyboard because the battery sticks so far out, it won't lay flat on the keyboard. So that is a problem. Uh, and that's number four. Number three, the third problem that I find in this unit is the most common casing repair that we get in the shop is on the back of by the handle there is two bumpers they're just plastic bumpers right here on the corner held in with one screw what happens is people hit those bumpers on the desk maybe they drop it maybe it bangs into something and then the screw where, where the screws into the plastic it breaks and that bumper will fall off now you got two exposed pieces where the bumper should be. That is a common repair part. And it is a weakness on this laptop. Number two. Number two is the memory upgradability. So what does that mean? Well, in essence, what this is, is a tablet, a fully rugged tablet, because the computing part of this, the system board, all the memory, the hard drive, everything is contained within this tablet piece. This is just an external, basically a keyboard that you're popping it into. So if you wanted 16 gigs, if this was an eight gig uh, computer, you wouldn't be able just to pop an eight gig stick in there to make it 16. There's no upgrade slots. So what you buy memory wise on these units is what you, have to live with. Um, so when you're buying one of these, make sure you get the most memory you can. Uh, typically 16 gig is a nice number to stick with. Just remember you can upgrade the memory in this and that's number two pet peeve on this unit. But I think number one is the overall upgradability of this, of this uh, CF33. What that means is, take a look at this unit right here to give you an example. Here's the fingerprint reader. It's built into the top piece, and you'll note that the cover plate, they've got a special cover plate for it, Then there's a plate for the fingerprint reader right here. And if you look over here, it, they have a special side that, they, that you have to have to be able to insert, you know, to put this cover back on. So there's a lot that goes into this other than just adding a fingerprint reader. So upgradability on these kind of features after the fact retrofitting would be expensive and time consuming to get all the parts. Same thing with the, uh, as another example, same thing with the barcode reader. This one happens to have the barcode reader right here. 
And again, that's a special plastic piece that goes in the front here in addition to the actual barcode reader. So it's not something that you can just install easily. Um, and I think that's why they came out with the FZ40 with the X-Pack upgradability uh, idea where you can just plug and play and you don't have all these extra pieces that you need to install. So those are my my top five grievances with the CF33. Hope you guys agree. If you know of any other problems with this unit, don't hesitate to leave the comments below and I'll see you guys next week.